Hey guys, what's up? By Sactotron here from One Half Gazette, here with the next war recap video. This is the one against We Are Spartans. It was part of the potluck we were doing. If you guys don't know what a Clash of Clans potluck is, it's basically where a bunch of clans all search at the same time uh, with similar rosters, hoping to match one another, so like an arranged war, except uh, there's multiple clans involved, and you don't know who you're gonna match, but hopefully you're gonna match one of the clans that's doing the potluck and get a good war. And we matched We Are Spartans and had a great war. Uh, you can see here, uh, they didn't quite three-star all of our Town Hall 10s and even left one of our Town Hall 9s two-starred. Uh, but as far as what we did, we got all the 9s and the 10s three-starred and uh, both of the Town Hall 11s two-starred. So a great war from us. And I think that the Town Hall 10s are starting to get more comfortable three-starring the other Town Hall 10s on the other clan. And uh, because of that, that should free up some Town Hall 11 attacks to eventually start to hit some of the other Town Hall 11s uh, for three stars. But for right now, we're still pretty dependent on the dip attacks, but I think um, in time that might change and we start to be able to see some Town Hall 11 three stars at some point. But for now, um, I'm not gonna show any of these dip attacks. We'll just start with some of the Town Hall 10 v Town Hall 10 three stars, starting with Ragnarok, uh, coming at number six with a minor attack. Um, he's gonna drop down that Golem. Uh, create the funnel here, a few wizards on either side. Um, gonna go in there, basically the goal is to get that first Inferno Tower, the Queen, the CC troops, and a good chunk of the base. He has the seven Valks, uh, which will take out a pretty solid section, especially because this base only has the Town Hall 9 level point defense for the most part, besides like the Teslas there. So the Queen moves in. I like how he delayed the Valks and the King to really let that Golem get out in front and do all the tanking so he gets the value for that 30 troop space investment on the Golem. Uh, Lava Hound comes out of the CC, that shouldn't be too much of an issue. The Valks are gonna go down pretty quickly without a heal, but they'll clear out most of the core there, trigger some giant bombs, uh, sends in the miners here on the right side. You always want those miners to come in before your kill squad's dead so they can tank for each other, uh, which he does. Pops the King's ability, the Kings need to get in there, uh, get some more value, trigger some giant bombs, all that good stuff. You can see the Inferno hasn't gone down yet because the Kill Squad kind of avoided it, but the Queen's going to step up and take it out right there uh, with her ability. The Miner's making their way through. There's enough Miners that they can duck down and get the heal, um, so he doesn't have to worry about that Inferno too much, and eventually they'll get up on it and take that out as well. Uh, still has one heal spell left. Um, everything's down at this point except for the Miners, so it's all on them, but they have the heal. Um, there's going to be that one little Lava Pup that's going to be annoying for the rest of the attack, but it shouldn't be too much of an issue and uh, still has the heal to deploy, which will keep the miners up just long enough to take out this base. So as soon as they all kind of come together here, he drops the heal and gets them back up to full health. So awesome deployment there. We'll go ahead and go times two because it takes a while for the rest of these miners to get through the base, but when they do, uh, this base is gonna be toast. And you can see here, uh, they're pretty good at the end game. They can take out some defenses and they are somewhat tanky, so they're not gonna go down too easily here. Um, the only problem is when they get stuck on some of the high HP buildings, but that wasn't too much of an issue. So it gets the 3-star awesome attack to Ragnarok. Uh, let's keep moving and take a look at another Town Hall 10 attack here. Um, number 8, right there, we're looking at Thor, and uh, he's bringing a bowler minor combo, which is another thing that you see uh, pretty often at Town Hall 10, works very effectively. So as soon as it starts right here, yep, a few minions go down uh, just for some funneling purposes, take out a few buildings. Uh, there's the golem, uh, only one point defense of that golem, no hurry to get his kill squad going to the base. Sometimes when you have like three or four point defense right at the beginning, you want to make sure your troops move a little quicker. But when there's only like one level, uh, Town Hall 9 level cannon on the golem, you can pretty much take as much time as you need because uh, the golem is not going to go anywhere anytime soon with that small amount of damage on it. So it comes in with some wall breakers to open everything up. Uh, the golem's gonna move forward. There's the queen, there's the bowlers. I love how he created a nice big funnel for those bowlers and there's kind of the natural funnel up there uh, with the extra little wall in front of the inferno. So everything's going straight into the base here. Has the er early poisons for the CC troops, which is another great thing. Get those poisons down before the CC troops even come out of the clan castle and it'll be a lot more effective. Uh, so they're getting in there, they're triggering giant bombs, 
They are taking out defenses. That first Inferno Tower almost went down, didn't quite go down. Has a little bit of hit point still left up, uh, but the miners were funneled in very nicely. They're going to go straight for that Inferno Tower, so good job there because the Inferno is a little bit isolated, but gets the job done, gets the miners inside the base. Pops the Queen's ability. Uh, she's going to get some more value before she goes down. A few more defenses. You can see that Inferno actually is still up, and it's going to be up for pretty much the entire attack, but he has another heal spell. He has pretty much all his miners still left up, and uh, you can see the defenses are kind of clumped clumped up in the middle of the base there so he'll just drop the heel on them let them make their way through the base and uh, they should be able to get the three star pretty easily because uh, these town hall nine level defenses aren't as much of a threat as some of the higher level point defense is at town hall 10. so the town hall goes down quickly which is good because you want to keep your miners moving that when they dip down underground that's when uh they don't get targeted so that's the most effective uh time for them so you want to make sure they're uh, taking out defenses quickly and staying underground as much as possible. Uh, right there, that Inferno is still up and it's slowly eating away at his miners, but that's pretty much all that's left as soon as that uh, mortar goes down, and it only has a few hit points left, so the miners are going to grab it right at the last second. Uh, the Scallies made it a little closer, but they're not going to be able to do anything, and that one builder's hut probably should have been taken out earlier, but luckily he had the time left over to get the job done. I'm not sure how close that is. We can take a look here. Yeah, he had about 10 seconds to spare, it looks like. So, uh, good good job to Thor. Just make sure you get an archer for that builder's hut in the future. Um, we have some Town Hall 9 action to show. And it was mostly, um, you know, HG, HB, and also this this uh, stoned hobo that people call it. I think it's what, I'm trying to, I suck with the little acronym things here. Uh, it's bowlers and hogs. So yeah, hobo. It's the stoned hobo is what it's being called. The stone is the three golems. So uh, comes in here with a nice wide opener. Um, he's bringing the bowlers, and the bowlers are such a crucial part of this attack because besides your heroes, they're the only DPS you have. Um, maybe a few wizards also, but that's not a whole lot. So you have to make sure these bowlers actually go into the base, which is why a wide funnel is so important. And also make sure to drop them a little bit earlier, like you see Noxie did right here. That way he knows they're gonna. Uh, there's enough buildings to draw them into the base before the heroes and other troops take it out. So it has the nice early poisons for the CC troops. Uh, that'll take out those minions pretty quickly along with a few wizards. Um, has a double jump, which I like, letting everything move through the base here. And then has that one heal for the hogs. Uh, he's already starting to sprinkle in those hogs there at the bottom, taking out defenses, just letting them slowly group up here um, as they kind of converge on the bottom of the base. Uh, the queen's making her way through, still has her ability right there, pops it. And things are starting to go down, but the golem's doing some great tanking. He got excellent value out of those golems because he brought the jumps, let them stay relevant in the base. And there's that heal for the Tesla farm. Uh, this base is crushed. A ton of hogs still left up. Still has the queen and a few cleanup troops. So awesome attack to Noxie. Um, we'll just fast forward because from here, it's all cleanup. Has plenty of time to do it. Um, I think he had some archers for some corner builder huts. Uh, so that was uh, great there. Good planning ahead. Um, but anyway, nice attack. Let's keep moving uh, to number 15. Uh, we have Boudreaux coming in with um, a nice attack. And you can see it's an interesting setup on this base. It has these kind of weird compartments like this. And people try this at Town Hall 9 occasionally. These kind of unorthodox bases to try to throw people off. But I like how Boudreaux handled this one. Uh, he comes in with a few troops just to create the... The funnel for some of his larger forces uh, goes ahead and gets the easy C sealer I think that was a hog just like one hog or something and then draws them all to the top here um, sorry about that with the uh, Queen there's a Tesla up there but she takes it down really quickly so there's no uh, issue there drops the healers on her he's gonna need to pop the ability I believe um, or maybe the poisons and yeah the poison looks like it'll be enough just because there's no other uh, defenses targeting the queen so uh, she can deal with just the CC troops without having to use the ability or anything so awesome stuff there the poisons could have been a little earlier uh, but still not a big deal a few wall breakers to let the queen into the base here and he's creating a funnel for his Valks and you'll see uh, kind of what I mean in a moment because the queen's going to take out some of these buildings right here and he'll come in on the other side with some more uh, wall breakers and then like the king in four or five Valks another Tesla in the corner but this guy uh, is out of luck on his Teslas because the heroes are taking them out for pretty much no cost at all. So a little bit unlucky for the, whoever built this base. 
Uh, but anyway, the king, the Valks making their way in, just creating the other side of the funnel basically. And you'll see um, as soon as that's created, right here he's gonna drop in his main force of Valks along with a CC of Valks and some wall breakers inside that CC as well to open up the first layer of that little core. So the Valks are gonna make their way in. The only place they have to go is through the core of this base. Doesn't even bring any jumps. This lets them swing through the walls and there's enough of them to get through here. Has heals, has rages. Can Because he didn't bring the jumps, he can uh, use those in the Valks and they'll go through this core very quickly. Um, already on to the next uh, section right here with that expo. Uh, so this base is toast, just the heroes are left up at this point, and he has a few hogs which will drop in in just a moment to take out a few defenses, but the queen is up. That's always a great uh, tool to have at the end for cleanup. Heroes are already down, the Valks under that rage are so powerful. Uh, they're gonna get through the base right here, and he sends in a few, did he send in the hogs already? Maybe I missed it. Yeah, on the corner test list, all four of these guys is all four of this guy's Teslas were in the corner. So a little bit of a troll right here, uh, but it doesn't work out too well for him because the two hogs I think took out the corner Tesla and then they'll come down here for the bottom one. And I think they'll get it taken out uh, along with that wizard to help out. So awesome attack, um, just a few buildings left up to go down and it is a three star. Um, nice attack to Boudreaux dealing with this kind of weird base setup. Okay, uh, number 20, this is a really interesting attack that and Anthony's been bringing these kind of things that are uh, fun to watch right here because it's a P.E.K.K.A. baby dragon uh, kind of combination and uh, you'll see how this shapes up in just a moment. Um, right when it starts right here, yep, there goes the P.E.K.K.A., two P.E.K.K.A.s, a few wizards. He kind of uses the P.E.K.K.A.s as substitutes for giants in a way. So sends in the P.E.K.K.A., sends in the healer, sends in the P.E.K.K.A.s, sends in the healers. Um, sorry, having trouble talking right now. Um, and they just he just lets them beat through that wall because the queen aggros them. Uh, drops the rage. They're going to be healed. There are quite a few CC troops on them. And that baby dragon can't be targeted by the P.E.K.K.A.s. So he needs his queen to move in there and take out the baby dragon before they take too much damage. But one of the cool things about the P.E.K.K.A.s is it seems like even though they were just, you know, under a lot of fire, they're still pretty much at full health. The healers are getting them back to full health if they're not already. So still has uh, all three of those P.E.K.K.A.s going strong. And really he's not losing any troop space because the thing with the Giants is um, you'll, you'll lose a few to the CC troops, to the Queen, to defenses, to spring traps. But the P.E.K.K.A.s, they might get low on health, but the healers will eventually compensate for that. So they're, in a way they might even be more effective than Giants. Uh, something to think about uh, worked well for Anthony and he has these baby dragons to kind of come in uh, Around the outside of the base here and snipe some trash buildings snipe some defenses uh, So it gets great value. They do clump up a little bit which takes away the value of the double uh, Damage that they have but they still are pretty solid They're still pretty tanky and he has one more left to, to deploy has a P.E.K.K.A uh, I think two P.E.K.K.A.s even uh, still up right there has a bunch of bowlers has the king just crushes this base always a fun uh, Attack to watch when you see something that you don't see normally. So yeah two packers at full health uh, Bowlers baby dragons the full deal. Um, we'll fast forward uh, Because it's only a few buildings left up and right there drops in that, that baby dragon to take out the Tesla So awesome attack to Anthony great job fun attack to watch um, hope you guys enjoyed the war recap, uh, fun war, and we do have, I'll go ahead and foreshadow right here, we do have a war against WHF2 uh, that's going to be coming up. Once again, I couldn't make the roster, so I'm trying to do a live attack, I know that's something that I haven't done in a while, but I have to be in a war before I can actually do one. So hopefully, um, and then part of this is I have to upgrade my heroes a little bit, they're a little bit low for my weight, so I'm not able to participate in as many arranged wars as I would like to. Uh, but as my heroes begin to uh, upgrade and my queen's getting closer to 40 and as that happens I should see some more action and you should see some more live attacks on the channel. So anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the recap. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, Sec the Tron out.